continuing on on this Toyota Solara here for the timing belt, water pump, intake gasket. So we already have the intake, the upper plenum off, the lower portion of the manifold off. We already did spark plugs in it. And uh, now we're raising it up. Gonna go ahead and take the power steering belt off. We have that left. Get the balancer that I have to take off. Then the lower timing cover, the engine mount plate, and then I'll be able to get into the timing belt and water pump. We'll continue on, we'll get the new parts put in, get it get it all in time, get the new water pump in, start going back together. rotated the crank around to get it in time so we have our blue mark down here it's uh, actually just covering the factory factory mark that's cut into the cam gear there as well as somebody made a blue mark there on the on the timing cover same thing back there on the rear cam gear so that's all in time then we've got the dot on the crank, on the little wheel behind the crank, lined up with its mark on the back of the timing cover there. So we do know everything is in fact in time. You can go ahead and take the tensioner off. Go ahead and start pulling the belt out. seen in the camera 
right there, our white line, it lines up with our mark on the back of the timing cover and on the front of the cam gear here. Then if we go back here, same thing, there's a white line there that goes with our mark on the cam gear and then as well back on the timing cover. Dark back there. So, but there's also a mark back there on the timing cover, so that's all lined up. And then we go here to the crank, and there's several marks down here on the belt. But the one we needed to pay attention to was the one with the arrows. And we have it in line with the dimple here on the gear. So that was our alignment mark for the belt. We are still lined up there on the timing cover and the crank. So now that we have that part all done, we pulled the pin and the tensioner. This is a hydraulic tensioner to pull it tight. So it's got everything tight. And what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to rotate the engine around, do a full cycle all the way around to where these marks should all line back up again, but we're gonna go ahead and rotate it around just to confirm that all the marks do in fact line back up. Now, that's gonna take two full rotations of the crank itself to, to get back to where the cam gears will be back in line with the crank again. So I'm gonna set this up here. one's lined back up. I'm going to check up top. Alright, so that was our first full rotation. So now we're going to go ahead go around again. Got our mark line back up right there. Is that the right mark? Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Here, hang on. We still have a few more. Oh. There's our mark. Alright. So we've got that. Now we've got it back in line. Come back over here, and of course the lines on the belt are not gonna line back up with the marks, but we have the line there on the cam gear lined up with our mark there. And we've got that one in line with that one. So we're ready to go back together with the timing covers and crank pulley. And then we'll get back onto the intake, putting it back together.
new idler pulley, new tensioner pulley, new hydraulic tensioner for the timing belt. So, got all that in, got the timing covers on, the balance are back on, power steering pump and belt back on. Now we're going to go ahead and put the, the alternator belt, well alternator and AC belt back on. This thing doesn't sit here and fight me like it was trying to come off. Get it back on. And then uh, continue putting this upper mount back on. Putting the harness back in place. I'm going to go and clean up the cylinder heads where the intake manifold gasket makes up to it. Go ahead and get that cleaned up. Put the, the intake gaskets back in it. Bolt the intake back down and finish going back together with it.